Hey guys, Go to Boy 32 here. Check it out. Sitting here with a cup of coffee and in my shop back at home. We just put the grips on that Taurus PT92 AFS. And one of the other things we were missing in. I swear to God, if you don't, don't shut up. One of the things that we were missing was a decent holster. And I uh, did a little a lot of research on this thing. And I wanted something that was going to show the gun off. I'm going to wear this thing. Uh, not, I am going to wear this thing open carry. And uh, because of that, I wanted something that was really going to show it. So anyway, I, I found this holster. This was on Amazon. I picked this up for about 30 bucks. This is the Tugua, Tugua, however you pronounce it. And uh, this is one part of their leather, gun leather. Now, one of the things that somebody had said earlier is that the Tugua is not true leather. And one of the ways that you can find out is going ahead and picking at a piece of the leather right here and if you come up with something that's not and it might be leather like but it may not be leather but we'll do that here in a minute one of the things i want to take a look at is the stitching the polishing on the edges and the interior portions of it right here now i tell you what uh, this is also designed for the beretta 92 fs the 96 the pt 92 and taurus the pt 99 pt 100 and brown and it is a right hand holster so anywho i wanted something that was going to expose the gun as most and then give me some semblance of some type of retention not a whole lot on this and i know a lot of people have some issues carrying open carry without a whole lot of retention but i'm talking about carrying it to church okay this is the church gun this is what you're going to carry to church because it is the blingity bling man this thing is the bling it is bling 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 bling, bling. so <laughs> Alright, I'm a little dizzy this morning. But anyway, let's take a look at this thing. There's your little tag. We can go ahead and let me get my knife out here. Get rid of that. Put that right there. Product placement. And let's take a look at this thing right here. Do's and don'ts. Yada, yada, yada. Lifetime warranty. Okay, that's good to know. Lifetime warranty on there. But uh, more interesting that I want to know is this this thing, real leather. I mean, a holster is a holster is a holster to a lot of people. Uh, for me, I'm pretty particular about the holsters that I go with. And uh, you get enough guns and you can you really, really, really do uh, want to pick and choose. So what we're going to do is right here on the back side, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to sacrifice this thing. I'm going to cut out a section of it. I'm thinking that that's probably going to avoid that lifetime warranty. And I don't have a microscope to examine to see if that is leather or not. I can't tell. Can you guys tell? I can't tell. Anyway, it looks like real leather. Who knows? Alright, so let's take away, let's take a look at how the thing fits in there. And there it is absolutely perfect got a 10 degree tilt to the front and it is a one and a half inch i believe let's go ahead and measure those slots out for the belt slots and they come in at you could fit a one and three quarter inch belt through there not a problem all right so let's go ahead i'm going to put it on real quick show you guys what it looks like on the person and uh, continue to display the bling stand by <clears throat> All right, guys, so I'm sitting in my shop, and that's basically what it looks like on the side, just like that. Man, I like that holster. That is awesome, and it really does. It kind of displays the gun the way I want it displayed. You know, this is the church-going gun. The going out on the date with the, the lady, the wife, the, the, the boss. But, <laughs> but that's what it looks like, guys. It hangs tight to the side. Very nice. I like the way it does. All right. So hold on one second. We'll go back to the table. All right, guys, let's finish this thing up. This uh, this holster is pretty nice, I, I have to say. It's really, really comfortable to wear. I wore it for a couple hours today, and I didn't have any complaints. I mean, the draw is smooth. The only issue is is that you, it really does hold, when you've got your belt cinched up really tight, it does hold the firearm in there really nicely. Uh, when you go to draw it and you want to go put it back, you have to kind of finagle it in there. But, you know, I, I like that. That's a good effect because of the fact that I don't want anything, I'd like to be able to run if I had to without having to worry about this thing coming out. Now, there's no level, there's not a, 
any type of retention in this other than it's just a you got to cinch it up you got to make sure it's tight and then it's not going to go anywhere hell it's tight right here just putting it in and in here uh, another reason i picked the, the leather holster over the kydex or any type of other thing i don't want it to mess up the finish on this thing so just look at that that is absolutely beautiful i think it's a breathtaking combination the three the gun the grips the holster very nice that concludes i think for right now the pt92 afs until we start dealing with the interiors if anybody wants to know actually the uh, trigger pull did calm down to about five and a half pounds after uh some breaking in put about 300 rounds through it the only issues that i had with the gun again <laughs> were the uh the slack uh laxness of the uh the ejection uh and the magazines we got some new magazines coming i wish that uh taurus made some nice finished base plates for this thing that would be the only thing I think the only only alternative to this would be the Inox uh, from Beretta and yeah I'm probably gonna have to get one of those too but you know if this is my edition of the Yankee Marshall <laughs> and uh, you know what uh, what do they call it uh, imitation is uh, the best flattery well you know this is about as good as I can get right now guys but all right, I'm going to end this thing as uh, always. Uh, support your boys in blue, and as always, God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. Coda Boy 32 out. Nice combination.